So I feel like I need to start this video off with a bit of a disclaimer. You see, the video could go one of two ways. It could either be completely inspired and turn out just as I'm hoping it will, or the alternative is, is that it could be a complete disaster, everything backfires on me, and y'all are left wondering, what did I just watch? Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but I feel like I needed to warn you guys just in case. So let me explain. For the last few weeks, I have been looking high and low for a unique set of bookends. So I have my grandparents' library stand in our living room, and I've got a couple of different sets of books displayed on there. And they don't have bookends, so they're constantly, you know, the ones on the ends kind of tipping over, and I'm always having to fix them. And then the cats, so, you know, you see where this is going. But I don't want just any set of bookends and all of the really cool, unique ones that I have found, like on Facebook Marketplace, they're vintage and they're very expensive. And I just can't justify spending a ton of money on something like that for right now. So my hope is that I can thrift some really cool, like either animal sculptures or like figurines of some sort something that I can use to help me craft my own unique bookends for this library stand. So I am planning to go to as many thrift stores as it takes over this next week to hopefully find something that will be absolutely perfect for what I've got in mind. But also, if all else fails, I do have some additional decor that I want to put up for the 4th of July um, in the dining room. So there's that. But either this entire thing is going to be a waste of time and we just put up some 4th of July decorations or you get some last minute 4th of July decorations and a really inspired set of unique bookends for our living room. So wish me luck. So you may have already guessed it, but I did end up picking up this set of matching figurines from that second Goodwill. 
I Google lensed them and they are from Home Interiors, I believe. Which, although that probably does make them vintage, it doesn't necessarily keep me from wanting to change their appearance. So here's what I'm thinking. All of the inspiration bookends that I have seen on Facebook Marketplace and on Pinterest are very sculptural in nature. So that means that they are, a lot of them were bronze, some of them were brass, they had marble bases. This is what I'm thinking. I think I'm going to prime these first and then buy a can of oil rubbed bronze spray paint and spray them entirely with that and see what I think about that finish and then maybe go over them just a little bit with some rub and buff. We'll see. For the base, I ended up buying a set of these wood plaques from Hobby Lobby. They were $3.79 for a pack of two. And I want to try to create a faux marble look on these. I've watched a few different tutorials on YouTube. I feel like I can do this. It doesn't look too complicated. So the plan is to create a marble base out of this, paint this in an oil rubbed bronze, and then use an E6000 glue to glue these together. And I think that will make the perfect sculptural bookend that I'm looking for. And all in, I will be less than probably about $10 a piece for each of them, which still puts me at half of the price of some of the vintage ones that I was seeing on Facebook Marketplace, which I feel like I can't beat that. And these are gonna be completely unique to our home. Nobody else is gonna have these.
If you are someone who is intimidated by painting projects, I really want to encourage you to find something around your home that might lend itself to this faux marble technique. Be it a large project like a tabletop or a smaller one like these bookends or maybe a tray, nothing about this project has to be precise. I think that's what makes it such a great beginner project. You can literally place the veining however and wherever you like. If it helps, you can look online at marble countertops or go to a home improvement store and look at marble samples to get a visual of what the veining can look like, but really, you can place them however you want to. My only suggestion is that you make sure to carry your veining lines down the side of whatever you're working on. You don't want to just paint them on the top and not the sides. It just won't look as realistic. I will put links to the tutorials that I watched ahead of time in the description box, as well as the names of the paints that I used to create the veining effect. I chose to go with shades of gray and black, but you could also use tans or browns depending on the look that you want. But it's really just about building those colors and then dabbing the paint off, smoothing it out, and just kind of layering the colors to give it a natural look. Play with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just have fun with it.
After quite a bit of internal debate, I finally decided to go ahead and add the antique rub and buff to the high points of the figurines. At the end of the day, I just I wanted them to have a bit more dimension, and adding that rub and buff on the high points really accentuates the details and gives it more of that vintage look that I was really going for. And thankfully, a little bit of rub and buff goes a really long way because I was squeezing every last bit I could out of this little tube. It is amazing how many projects you can get done with just one tube of this stuff. I've only discovered it about a year ago, and I'm not sure how I ever lived without it. We are on the home stretch of this high-end thrift flip, and I am so excited about how these marble bases turned out. I didn't end up getting any video of me spraying them with the glossy clear spray paint, but I wanted to share with you guys, before we get everything glued together, kind of what it looks like now. Using that glossy spray paint was definitely the way to go over a mat because you want to give it that sort of glossy marble look. I would have used a high gloss if I had it, but I didn't want to go to the store and spend any more money. I, and I already had the glossy one at home. So we just went with that. But let's see what they look like together. How perfect is that going to be? I'm just so pleased with the overall look of this entire project. So let's get these pieces glued together. We'll let it sit overnight. And then I will see you guys again in the morning so that we can get everything styled in the living room. I can't wait. <laughs> 